Hello friends, now in this video, I am going to show you how you can display a student information in library and side. But before displaying that page, uh, we need to do something and first step is we need to uh, make template partition in library and side. But we already partition of record in student side. So we are going to open this our PHP LMS folder going in student side and we need to copy this demo footer and header this this three file we have to copy and we need to paste these three file inside this library and side because we already made partition of user side so no need to do same step again again so you can see here here we have this demo page and now in this library and login page you can see here we are right now on library and login page here and now we have here this demo page now we want to save this uh, demo page as a service so i am going to create uh, first of all new file this file name should be display student info yeah so we have this file display student info.php now what we have to do copy this all and paste over here so we have this display student info page and now we are going to run this display uh, student info page first of all so here librarian display student info.php so we can see here we have this page and now we need to do one more step and that step is we need to open first of all ph sorry php my admin so i am going to open this php my admin and in this our database we need to open this student registration form and we need to add here one field field name is status because uh, first of all when student register on that time we need to block that student after verifying by library and then and then only a student can log in from his or her login form so we need to add one more uh, field over here in the last uh, so after enrollment and go and i am going to take one field status where here three save yeah so you can see we have this uh, field status and here i am going to pass right now yes but now what we have to do we have to open this student registration form and when student registered on that time we need to uh, block their account so here in last our insert query we need to pass no and now we need to uh, do one more change in this login.php here we have login.php student login.php and here we need to pass and status is equal to yes so if a uh, is or a student is uh, status is no then uh, they cannot log in from here so we need to pass here status is equal to us and right now the status is equal to us so this user can log in so now we are going to check this will work or not so i am going to open student and student registration dot php sorry i need to check name only registration dot php and i am going to add here test 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 at the gmail dot com in last we are going to add very uh, add uh, uh, some type of validation over here but right now it is not required and i am going to register so you can see we registration successfully and now we are going to check here we can see is our status is no and you can see pa username is test and password is also test okay so i am going to open here login.php and now i am going to give here test test and going to login and you can see this is a uh, it's a invalid username or password because his or her account is not approved right now now i am going to do here yes 
and then I am going to press here test test and login and we can see we forward on a.ph because uh, right now we don't have any more paging student so uh, this process is work and uh, we can give your proper message also your account is not approved but uh, we will do it later on but right now we have required this yes or no and we uh, do it here now we are going to uh, display our record for uh, in librarian side so in librarian side you can see we have this page display student info so i am going to open that page librarian and display student info dot php and now we need to open librarian login page and here in window location we need to pass here display student info dot php so now when librarian open uh, they should forward on this display student info dot php so we are going to check login dot php and we need to check here library and detail i think a b c d e f yeah so i need to pass here a b c d e f and then login and you can see we are coming inside this student uh, display student info page now here we are going to display our record so right now you can see here i am on display student info page and here first of all we need to check here we have to add connection.php so i am going to add here connection.php and now we need to display our code here so i am going to start here php and now we need to pass here uh, a select query so mysqli underscore query and here we need to pass query so select star from and we need to paste here our table name so our table name is library registration so i am going to paste here library registration and now we need to move while loop while dollar row is equal to mysqli underscore fetch underscore array and inside we are going to pass dollar res and now we need to pass here uh, we need to display a record but before that we are going to display a record in table format so we are going to take here table and we are going to complete here table and now we need uh, some th for heading so i am going to take here th and i am going to complete here slash th and here i am going to press uh, i am going to pass here field name so our field name is first name last name username email and content we uh, don't require to uh, display their password so first name last name username email contact first name then we need to pass here last name then we need to pass here this is only adding so you can pass anything this is not required that you have to pass here same as whatever you pass in your table now we need to pass here email and then we need to pass here oh yeah we did one mistake sorry we need to display a student registration information so sorry for that so we need to pass here student registration here also same field first name last name username email sometime it happen contact then same then enrollment number otherwise we can write only enrollment and now you need to display your status so i am going to display your status and now we need to copy this all and now here we need to take one tr text so i am going to take here tr and we need to complete here our tr text so i am going to complete our tr now here we need to again start our tr so i am going to start here tr and here 
we need to complete here yeah and now here we need td so i am going to do here td here also we need to complete slash td and now we need to pass here our table column name so we need to pass here equal dollar row and here we have to pass first name i am going to copy this and paste here and then we are going to change our column name but first of all we need to paste here yeah and now we are going to change our column name first name then last name then username then email then we need to pass here contact then we need to pass here same and we need to pass here enrollment so our column name is also enrollment E N R O L L M E N T and here we are going to pass status and we uh, right now we are using bootstrap so we need to pass here one bootstrap class bootstrap class name is table and one another is table bordered yeah and now we are going to run this page and we are going to check what output we are getting yes yeah, so you can see here we are getting your first name last name username email and yeah we are not getting status why oh yeah now we are going to get status so you can see here uh, this both student status is yes and now we want to block this student then we, we need to uh, uh, give you a two link approve not approved so first of all we are going to add here heading two heading we need approve and here not approved not a pro so we need here two column also so i am going to take here two column equal td it was less td now we need to copy this paste here and yeah we need to give your link so for link i am going to complete php start php and between this i am going to write here href approve and here i am going to create link approve.php question mark id is equal to again php start php end and echo dollar id it is very difficult to write but no problem you can just copy and paste over here and you can see my video so you can easily do this not approve.php and this i am going to pass id now i am going to run this and you can see here in bottom you can see here you can see here when i move mouse you can see here id is equal to one pass id is equal to two pass here also id one id two but here i am going to do not approved so here i have to write only not approved yeah not approved and for not approved you can see here we give the link of no not approved.php here we give link approved.php and when i am going to click here don't uh, see this object not found but you can see here we get here approved.php and id is equal to one and if i am going to click here then you can see here we forward on not approved.php and we get id is equal to two because we are at click on this so we need to uh, uh, create two pages and on these pages we do not require any types of template here approved.php yeah and again we are going to create one new page not approved.php so first of all we are going to uh, do code inside this approved.php so php start php end here i am going to include connection.php and we are getting here id is equal to underscore get id this id is this id and this is our this page variable you can use here abcd also but i want perfect name so i am going to take here dollar id now we are going to pass here query dollar link 
and we need to pass here update query update student registration set status is equal to yes where id is equal to dollar id and now you need to pass your script type text javascript and here i am going to pass window dot location and we need to pass student uh, again one display underscore student underscore info dot php page now uh, i am going to save this copy this all code and i am going to paste on our not approved page so i am on not approved page and i am going to pass this all and here i have to pass only no and now i am going to show you what happened we can see i am going to do your not approved we can see your status is no if i am going to uh, approve then you can see set status is equal to o. now i am going to not approve this student and you can see i am going to run that login page student and login.php you can see current status is no so this student cannot be login pass username password abcdef and i am going to login you can see here we are getting here at invalid username and password but now i am going to approve this student and now i am going to run this page abcdef why we need to check what is the problem status is equal to yes but we need to check password oh yeah username password is test test so test test login you can see we forward on a.php now again i am going on login.php and i am going to not approve to this student and now again i am going to write username password test test in login can see here we are getting error so this way we can perform approved and not approved uh, functionality in this library management system thank you so much for watching my video and now i am going to uh, uh, create one more video but please be available here for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much for watching my video